Mike Tomlin said that Baltimore plays the type of game that the Steelers aspire to play. He also knows his team hasn't won in Baltimore in quite some time. That's what they have to change here on Sunday. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, I and Eagle. Glad to be with you in the end zone presented by Sony. It's the game of the week. It's the Steelers and the Ravens. And I and we had some choices for what we could have picked. Denver, Carolina is a good game. Hmm. There's some other division battles. But this one is for the AFC North title. If Pittsburgh wins, if not, they still control their own destiny for that division. But as you pointed out before we started, this means a whole lot more to Pittsburgh because they still have a good shot for home field advantage throughout the playoffs. They do. Uh, there is incentive here, and as we've talked about throughout the season, there is this void in the AFC, and who's going to fill it? Pittsburgh believes they can be the best team in the AFC and represent the conference in the Super Bowl. The one-game lead over the surprising Baltimore Ravens and I'm excited about this game. Uh, first of all, the style of play. We know that this is going to be hard fought. We know it's going to be a defensive battle. It's one of those games that's rare that you say this heading into a matchup where the punters actually could play a very big role. You've got Sam Cook and you've got Mitch Berger. Why? Field position. That is going to be a huge storyline in this game. Who has better field position? Who can make plays on special teams? Because defensively, you're talking about two of the best teams in all of football right now. And you're not, this is, you know, that's the other part to this is when you look at the two defenses, they are mere images of yep. each other. They hit you hard. They've got two phenomenal ball hawking safeties in Troy Polamalu and Ed Reed. They've got phenomenal linebackers that can rush the passer. Harrison and Suggs and Bart Scott and Lamar Woodley. You've got great players all over the field. The nose tackles are the same in, in Hampton and Elodie Nada. Which offense can actually strike first may become the offense that actually wins the game because you may only strike one time. No, and that's a legitimate point. I think with Baltimore in particular, they are a team for the first time maybe ever in the franchise history since making the move from Cleveland to Baltimore. Even during their Super Bowl year, there were two very clear-cut separate units on that squad. The defense felt like they were the heart and soul of the team, which they were, as we know. And the offense, there were insecurities there week in and week out. They basically told Trent Dilfer, hey, just don't mess it up. That's all we're asking you to do now. And I've done enough Baltimore games this season to know the defense actually respects the offense. They respect Joe Flacco. I don't think this stage is too big for him. He's been unflappable. He's been poised. He's been a tremendous rookie quarterback for this team. Nothing seems to phase this guy. And what they've done this year, and, and most of those interceptions came early in the year. They did. Uh, most, they did. I believe it's three or four interceptions in the last six or seven weeks. That's and it. Ultimately, if Baltimore is ready to take this next step and be a division champion, it is going to be the defense that that really has the final say. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, the Baltimore offense is legitimate this year. They've got a, a nice flow to their offensive game, which they have not had in in many many years. So. Uh, Baltimore's capable. Uh, I, I know that Flacco's going to see things he's never seen before. The, uh, it, it, the exotic blitzes that Dick LeBeau is going to throw at him. It, it would intimidate most rookies. I don't think that he's going to wilt under the pressure. With all of that said, it's still Ben Roethlisberger. Yep. The experience is there, and Jay, ultimately, as we know, with this Pittsburgh team, Roethlisberger has taken a lot of hits, yet he has found a way to win games every week. And that's the question in this game to me, because we know they've played once before this season. Uh, that's not a question. We know Pittsburgh won, although Baltimore had a shot to they come did. back and win they that did. game. They did. They did not embarrass themselves no, in that no, game No, they at played all. very well and, and, and were very surprisingly and they're better good now. at that point. Absolutely. And Flacco's better now. Yeah. But which quarterback can get up time and time again? Because they're both going to be on the ground a lot. There are offensive line issues all over the Steelers line, especially at left tackle, which is why we know that Ben Roethlisberger is on the ground 10, 12, 15, 20 times a game, sacked six well, or seven times. That, can Flacco get up that many times? That's the question. I think the other part of the storyline that we have to bring up as well is it's a young offensive line for Baltimore that has fared very well this season. They're going to need some help from their running backs in protection. Uh, where LaRon McClain... McGahee, Ray Rice, they're going to have to help protect Joe Flacco in this game. And occupy the linebackers. If you're Baltimore, that's the biggest key. And I know you could say that every week for any team that's taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. But for this game in particular, you've got to give the linebackers something to think about so that those design blitzes aren't coming at you from all sorts of angles. Make sure that the running backs are part of the game plan in the passing game, which I think they will be. And that, that's been a big part of what Baltimore has done. You know, McGahee, it's interesting, Jay, because we don't know week in and week out how many carries he's going to get, 
Sometimes you think he's in the doghouse after the fact. John Harbaugh, who has done an outstanding job this season, will tell you, hey, he just wasn't part of the game plan against that specific opponent. He'll get his shot. McLean has really been their go-to guy this year on the ground. They have to hang on to the football. No fumbles this week there. And then the other question for the Steelers, because you're bringing up the Ravens running backs, Willie Parker, yep. Moelle De Moore. Which one? Moelle De Moore looked much better in this last game against Dallas. And it, not necessarily that the offense looked good at all in that game until the fourth quarter, but Willie Parker didn't get anything going. And Mike Tomlin was rotating running backs. It didn't seem to work. He went and he settled on Moel De Moore in the fourth quarter, and then the offense started moving. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. I wouldn't count on any big fantasy points from either of these teams this week. Let's take our winners. Clark's not here. This is good for us. By the way, Clark feels better. Uh, he's a little bit under the weather. Who's your winner? Everything I've said about Baltimore, I truly believe this team has earned their spot this year. Yeah, they haven't had the toughest schedule, but you play who's on your schedule in the NFL. With that said, I got to go with Pittsburgh. I believe, knowing what's on the line here, the Steelers rise to the occasion and get the win. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh also, and the and and the reason is, their players at the positions that they have the same players at Baltimore, I think are just a little bit better, mm -hmm. especially on offense. And so that's why I'm going to take Pittsburgh. I'll trust Roethlisberger more than Flacco. Uh, I'll trust Palomalu a little bit more than Ed Reed. Although that's like saying, yeah, you know, uh, here's. Five hundred dollars. Here's five hundred. It's it's not. It's there's no comparison there. But when it comes down to it, Pittsburgh's players, especially on offense, have been in this situation before. Flacco's a rookie quarterback. I think they both still make the playoffs. Yep. But I think Pittsburgh wins this football. I game. mentioned punters, kickers too. Yep. Uh, Jeff Reed and Matt Stover. If Stover's healthy. If Stover, we might see the kid Hauschka, yeah. who, who's got a big leg. He kicked a, a 53-yarder earlier this season, but. He's never been under this yeah. kind of pressure. Yeah, it'll be a great game to watch, especially if you like hard-hitting football where the defense wins the football game. For Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. More end zone presented by Sony here on CBSSports.com.